Welcome to Today we are going to see about one of the hydrological uh, analysis tools of uh, the hydrological process tools that is stream power index. So, uh, as we can understand from the term stream power, it is the power of streams and associated with as well as rivers that causes uh, sediment detachment and uh, this surface detachment in turn results in uh, soil erosion. So this is used for, uh, especially for estimating and quantifying uh, uh, soil erosion uh, triggered by Kelly erosion. So it is used to tackle uh, flood hazards and flood problems if we are uh, estimating stream power index. So, uh, there are certain steps in order to calculate uh, this stream power index. Uh, first, we uh, have to identify what type of data is required. For, so, the first data is a digital elevation model of your study area. So, then after acquiring digital elevation model, uh, uh, several steps to be followed. Field aim, uh, flow direction, flow accumulation. Of course, the last step is calculating slope before uh, directly go to the formula which, which is used to make the model. So now let us open arc map. So this is the, so this is arc map 10.8 so let me add the required data in this case the team as we are already identified I have already uh, identified as uh, required data is DM, so click on D. Okay, then after uh, adding DM data, then the second uh, step is so just uh, go to Arc Toolbox and click Arc Toolbox. Mark toolbox is opening, so let us go to just special analysis tools. Then after getting special analysis tools, let's go to our hydrology toolbox. Then we have certain tools which is required for hydrological analysis. So double click on fill. This field tool is very important because if there is missed values or inconsistencies in this uh, digital elevation raster data, we need to fill the gaps. So the input, ra the input surface raster must be the DM data, then select DM. Then the output surface raster means the place or the path or the folder where you want to save your output result. You can uh, select by clicking this uh, and select your own folder, but in my case, let me accept the default folder destination and hit OK. So, as you can see, here is the field name is successfully computed. Uh, so, let us go to the second step, which is flow direction. The input surface raster must be the field name, so let us select field name. The output flow direction raster means the place or the path where you want to save the output uh, result. As I did in the previous step, I will accept the default folder or the, de the default de destination path and hit OK. OK, flow direction is successfully generated. So now let us go to the uh, third step, which is calculating or estimating flow accumulation. Then double click on flow accumulation. The input raster wants to be the flow direction, as you can uh, see here. Here it is the flow direction, so click on flow direction. The output accumulation raster um, is once again the place or the path or the folder that you wanted to save your output result. As I did in the, pre in the previous steps, I will accept the default destination folder and uh, hit OK. Now flow accumulation is running. Let us wait the result. Okay. 
look at perfect so flow accumulation is already generated so what is remaining is uh, calculating slope so let us minimize this hydrology tool and uh, within this special analyst uh, toolbox let us select surface when you expand the surface toolbox uh, there is a, a multiple tool which is used to estimate uh, uh, surface analysis or terrain analysis in our case uh, it is a slope so double click on a slope double click on a slope so the input raster must be the original d as you can he see here is that the d let us uh, the output raster uh, is one again the place or the folder or the destination where you want to save your output result as I did in the previous steps I will accept the default folder and the output measurement means the unit that you want to select in this case there are two types of units uh, slope in terms of degree and slope in terms of percent so select the degree uh, leave as, uh, other things as it is and hit ok so slope is generating in terms of degree let us uh, wait so slope is generated in terms of degree from 0 out of 71 71 0 degree out of 71 degree. as you can see here is that the place where the colored by re, uh, red colors is the highest uh, slope value and the place where covered by colored by this uh, zero degree uh, around the green areas is equal to the lowest levels so now we have completed all the, the necessary steps uh, what is remaining here is that the formula for calculating stream power index. The stream power index uh, SCPI is equal to the flow accumulation times cell size times tan of slope times 0 0.17456. Uh, this is constant number. Cell size means the resolution of your DM uh, raster. So we have already calculated flow accumulation. So we have cell size. Uh, and we have already calculated slope in terms of degree then by applying this formula we can calculate the stream power index i will show you how to find the resolution of all the cell size of your team data so let us return back to arcpub and let us uh, in order to uh, see the cell size of your uh, dm data right click on dm then go to properties then go to force then the cell size is equal to 20 by 20 so now let us apply uh, our formula in order to apply our formula we are uh, we directly go to uh, spatial analysis tools and map algebra expand map algebra under map algebra tool there is a sub tool which is called raster calculator then double click on raster calculator then stream power index is equal to uh, flow accumulation times cell size 20 meter times times tan of you can find the tan function the tan in the trigonometric function in the right side so there is trigonometric function so select the tan tan of the slope the slope times times Let me copy this, copy and times paste here. Yeah. So flow accumulation uh, times flow accumulation is already calculated here. Times uh, 20, 20 means the cell size uh, or the resolution of your DM raster. Tan of slope, slope we have already calculated, slope uh, in degree. Then so the output raster means the place where you want to save your output result. So as I did in the previous steps, I will accept the default destination folder and hit OK. Now stream power index is calculating. Let us wait the results. So now this is stream power index, stream power index. 
stream power index let me remove this speed this is stream power index so let, ma let us make some amendments go to properties go to properties and symbology let us uh, make some amendments on symbology okay apply yeah okay apply okay yes Okay. okay yeah here it is around uh, uh, since it is a stream power index or it is a power of streams that uh, leads to uh, that leads to high amount of uh, a stream uh, detachment for so the highest value is 3 and the lowest value is negative 1.5 so the place where uh, colored by this uh, blue uh, value needs to be further protection measures or further soil, uh, soil and water management conservation measures should be necessary for uh, your study area. Uh, the area which is represented in the highest value around this, uh, especially where there are rivers or where there are uh, streams, uh, there should be uh, strong uh, soil and water conservation mechanisms so as to decrease uh, flood hazards, flood risks, and uh, sediment detachments which affects or which in turn results in soil erosion. Now, in order to uh, uh, make the map uh, full, let us go to uh, layout view. So let us insert some marginal information of maps or some basic map elements. Insert legend. Next, next, next. Finish. So this is a legend of, of a map. Let us insert. You can select your interest. Let me select this one. So this is your zero. Yeah. Insert the scale bar. Yeah, okay. As you can see here, the unit is miles. Right click, go to properties. In order to change the uh, units into kilometers, as you can see here, division units. Let's, let me select two kilometers and let me select km to the level is 2 km. Okay. So now it is already changed into KM. What is left here is that is a right click on this data frame and click right click, then go to new grid, the next, uh, next, 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 finish, apply. As you can see here is a uh, lines but i don't want to use this line so I, uh, I want to remove these lines by uh, going to properties so let me go to lines show us a grid of lines no show us a grid of tickets no do not show us lines or tricks okay apply so the lines are removed so let me go to properties again then label vertical orientation of the right and uh, the left let me Select this times new Roman. Let me select to this tool. Bold. Okay. Apply. Okay. Apply. Excellent. Okay. Here it is the basic map element of already added to your map. What's left here is that insert. Neatline. Place around elements. Let me select uh, to this. Uh, okay. Now let me select this. The color to this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. As you can hear, this is the uh, midline means means the border of your grid lines. Your grid lines. So what is left here is that insert dynamic text when you go to dynamics you can 
you can insert uh, current uh, current date current name author name but i want to uh, insert the coordinate system so just bring this coordinate system to the last bring that to, and this to, this is a projection this means a projection system so let me make some amendments okay so this is a, a coordinate system information so now uh, the map is fully understandable and uh, usable so let me add another important one the title what is the title of the map the stream power index power index, index. SPI map of map of the study area study area yeah map of study area okay. yeah let me make some amendments yeah study area power index or a CPI map of the study area. Now we have already completed. Now let us uh, export this map in terms of export, go to file, then uh, click export. Then select, uh, for example, let me select, you can select the world destination folder. Let me select stream power index. So uh, you can export as PDF or JPG or PNG, but I wanted to export as JPG. Save. So keep processing. Yeah, show the percent of completion. After this, it is it says export complete. Now let let us go to uh, desktop and let us see our export result. power index well, perfect good map very perfect map has been uh, has been generated has been generated so by using ArcMap packages you can you can uh, calculate the stream power index therefore this is what we have to do if you are new to this YouTube channel you can comment share and subscribe thank you for watching